This video is brought to you by Squarespace. When it comes to websites, online stores, etc., there's no place to build a beautiful online presence like Squarespace. Barry, I gave you this monologue for a reason. To see if you were capable of, of playing a character with even the mildest set of balls. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Come on, get up. You can't talk to each other on the phone. If it weren't for Bill Hader, you'd think those three shots were from completely different shows. In fact, if it weren't for Bill Hader, we wouldn't have the one show those clips all come from called Bear. <laughs> Barry is a show that first aired in 2018 about a hitman trying to become an actor. It stars Sarah Goldberg, Henry Winkler, Anthony Kerrigan, Stephen Root, and obviously, Bill Hader. Barry, in short, is one of the most unique and interesting shows on TV right now. Which is surprising coming from a show about a hitman. Even Hader has acknowledged the redundancy of this subject. He's like, there's more hitman in, in, in movies and television than there are in real life. It's like, it's like dog catcher. I don't think it's much of a hot take at this point to say Barry is one of the best shows out, but to a lot of people, especially those on the outside, Barry can seem like pretty simple entertainment. With a show that is pretty comedic and each episode lasting no more than half an hour, I can understand how it might be hard to see it as the next Breaking Bad. So for those people and anyone who can't figure out why they love this show so much, here's why Barry deserves the hype. Let's start with the cold opens. Barry's cold opens are short, funny, and to the point. I think this is important and crucial because it really sets the tone for how each episode plays out. As dramatic as this show is at times, part of why we still find it so interesting and why we love these characters is it feels like us. With a lot of Hitman-related entertainment, as entertaining as it feels, it's also unarguably tough to find relatability. When you put it in a world where this concept is as ridiculous to the characters as it would be to us, you find yourself in the weirdest way relating to a hitman. The show is establishing off the bat like, yes, it's something to take seriously at times, but before they have the chance to make you emotional... For a show about actors, it's no surprise that the performances on this show are some of the best you'll see today. Obviously, there's Bill Hader, but we've talked about him enough to a point where, do I even need to mention him? I do, he's unbelievable. Bill Hader is a goofy guy, with a pretty distinct face. To separate himself from that and allow the audience to do the same is an already daunting task. I get that it may not be the most dramatic or extreme performance you'll see, but it sure as hell makes you wonder, is Bill Hader alright? But there's no denying the rest of the cast is equally as amazing. Sarah Goldberg delivers some monologues that are seriously chilling. Poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. Henry Winkler, who I can't not watch when he's on the screen, is absolutely fascinating. That's what this class is about. Life. Then there's Anthony Kerrigan, who brings a much-needed release of tension to every episode. You bald fuck. Fuck you, man. Come on, you don't mean that. Lastly, there's Steven Root. The way he uses his voice is unmatched. He'll go from a goofy sidekick who you're rooting for to being someone you want dead. Detective Loach, LAPD. I'd just like to ask you a few questions. Moving on, I think it's safe to say nobody is balancing genre quite like Barry. The thing about Barry is that it has 30 minutes total, right? That's not a lot of time. And when you throw a bunch of genres in a constrained amount of time like that, things can get really messy really fast. But the beautiful thing about Barry is things never really get messy. Certain shows struggle to find this balance in entire episodes, but Barry can do so in single scenes, having you scared shitless to having you chuckling. We don't see the attitude Barry gives off very often on TV. It's an attitude that feels introverted, personal, extremely vulnerable, but at the same time intimidating. It makes the entire situation feel a lot less pretentious and a lot more welcoming for the average viewer. It's always such a smooth transition from one tone to the next. If a transition ever is jarring, that's completely intentional. Speaking of transitions, that brings me into a subpoint, which is the editing. It's no shock that Hader used to work in post-production because the editing is literally what makes the show what it is. Barry serves as a reminder that the editing doesn't need to be necessarily flashy to be noticeably good. Sometimes all it takes is using this tool to let the story do exactly what it needs to do and help find its voice. Without the way the show was cut, the jokes would not land the way they do, nor would many of the dramatic moments feel as though they work. And I think what strings a lot of this together is the characters. Not a single person feels underdeveloped in this show, besides maybe the other acting students. But they're not even completely unwritten after seeing a small glimpse into their backstories in the latest season. My point is they are developed enough to where if one of them ends up playing a major role somewhere in the future, 
I wouldn't be surprised and it probably would work really well. A great example of how Barry plays with characters is the ending of season two, episode four, which leads us into one of the best episodes of the entire series. It's gotten to a point in the show where we know just enough and just not enough to where anything could happen to anyone and it would be surprising while simultaneously feeling as though it was in front of us the whole time. The show keeps you on the edge in ways that doesn't require a cliffhanger at the end of every episode. There are some characters like Fuchs, for example, who I know pretty well at this point, but still haven't even gotten a full backstory yet. And speaking of Fuchs, part of bringing a sense of humor to these characters comes ambiguity in terms of morals. Like Barry is out here killing people, right? We, he kind of sucks, but we love him. We want the best for Barry. <laughs> Noho Hank is literally worse and somehow even more likable. It's a very unpredictable show. These characters feel unique to one another. With a lot of shows, Euphoria being a great example, you pick favorites. I liked Jules more than I liked Kat, for example. That's even the case with Breaking Bad. I was fascinated with Jesse more so than I was Skylar, so naturally there were moments where I was more invested than others. With Barry, for the first time ever really, I was invested with everyone. I really don't think there's a single boring character here. While there is a sense of reliance within these dynamics, it's clear that each person has their own set of rules in terms of what's right and what's wrong, which at the end of the day makes for some really gripping television. As I mentioned earlier, it's an easy show to dismiss because of its length and subject matter, but when you take a closer look at the writing, performances, direction, and editing, it's an extremely precise show where I have no idea where it's going next, but I'm completely strapped in for it. Barry goes a step further with its storytelling because not only does it understand how to keep an audience invested and how to entertain people, but it also understands what it means to be a person. When you combine these two aspects in a show as simple as this, you get a story that leaves you feeling immersed in this environment, yet extremely grateful that you're not one of these people. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time putting this one together, but before you head out, I wanna give a quick thank you to Squarespace. And if you didn't already know, Squarespace is a service that makes slick, sleek, great looking websites. You don't need to know a lot of coding to do it. It's, they have 24 hour customer service just in case you do have any problems. And the best part about it all is that if you go to squarespace.com slash Karsten, you can get 10% off of your first purchase. So thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check them out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.